cooking one of the best African famous food called jollof rice. If you visit Africa and you have not tested this thing called jollof rice, you have to go back to Africa and go and test this yummy jollof rice. These are the ingredients you will need. Hi lovely soul, hope you are all doing fine. If it's your first time coming across my channel, my name is God Demi and you're welcome to my channel. Please don't forget to subscribe. The first step you surely go for is a protein. You can use any protein of your choice at all, like any protein at all. But if you want to get that yummy jello fries you really want, go for turkey or chicken. After you wash your protein, go on and add your seasoning. Add your curry powder, your tomato powder. If you like to use tomato powder, go on and add your onions, your salt, like any spices you like to use to boil your protein at all. <laughs> when you are adding water, make sure you don't add too much of water so that your seasoning is going to enter your chicken or your turkey. Then you cover it, let it cook until you love the taste or you love the softness of your protein. I will be going for this bell pepper and carrot. I will slice it this way, like this straight way. <laughs> if you don't like veggies, you can skip this. It's not necessary, but I prefer to use this. Like I'm craving for this type of jello fries right now. <laughs> That's why I go on and cut my veggies. All right, this is where the world started from. You take your pot, add your butter in your pot. Make sure you have butter. If you have butter, it's going to give you that beautiful taste. And you go home and add your vegetable hoye. Don't let your hoye too much. After seeing that your butter has been made, go on and add your sliced onions. I love red onions. Yeah, whenever I'm cooking my jello fries, I love to see that scent of red onions. Then you go on and fry it for about two minutes in a low heat. The next step I will do is to add my thyme and my curry powder, a pinch of salt and my bay leaf. Oh my god, when I'm cooking my jello fries this way, everybody will be asking you who is cooking. <laughs> After letting it fry for about some seconds, you go on and had your tomato paste. Yes, tomato paste. This is thick tomato. You had your thick tomatoes, then you can add your butter tomatoes because you really need a lot of tomatoes when you are making this jello fries. If you like spicy food, go with some habanero pepper and some onions, blend it together and pour it in your tomatoes. You are going to let this fry for about 35 minutes in a very low heat. If you don't let it fry well, it's going to be give you that sour tomato taste. This is where you have to get a lot of patience. <laughs> So I need to shift my tomato at the back because I'm so hungry and I need to get everything done as up. So I'm trying to take out my turkey. When you are preparing jello fries, make sure you don't throw your meat water away like your protein water because you are going to make use of it when you are making your jello fries. The next step for us is to go back and shake our tomatoes. Then I'm going to go home and add my seasoning, my maggi cube, my salt, anything you feel like you want to add at all, in as much as what you love to use to cook, then you go home and add it. Stay together, you should add salt with it. Then you cover it to cook for about 15 to 20 minutes again. 
so after 20 minutes i will go home and had my washed rice i don't like some parboil rice i've seen many people parboil it and the rice before they put it in the paste but i don't like to parboil my because i want everything to get done with the rice and this is the outcome of my jollof rice like jollof rice oh my god the next thing i will surely do if you don't like veggies you can skip this then you go on and serve yourself your food is ready <laughs> But because I want to make it the way I'm craving for it, I had my habanero pepper, just four of habanero pepper and a lot of onions. Then I blend it together. I added my vegetable oil in my fry pan and I had my sliced onions on and I mix it together. I just want to roast my turkey. Oh my god. Like if you haven't given jollof rice this hello G, like hello Jice, <laughs> give it a try. Then I'm going to add my seasoning, just normal chicken seasoning and uh, my curry powder, just mix spices, yeah. Then I will let it fry in a very low heat because I don't want it to get burnt and my soup is ready. <laughs> like it's ready, I'm just going to go home and turn my turkey in it. Don't mind the oil, I don't have too much granite oil in it, it's just cooking like that, don't mind that. And because some people be like that oil is too much no you just cook like that you know when you are frying a little bit of something yeah you're just going to see the oil up. yeah i'm just trying to roll my turkey there oh my god oh my god <laughs> I want to let my turkey sit for a very long time. I will pack it out then. I will add my chopped onions followed by my sliced veggies. And in a very low heat, I've got it all. I will just add a pinch of salt then, yeah. I've been craving for this type of jello fries and here I am today. Let me watch live me to prepare in my next video. I will surely bring it out for you guys. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you guys in my next video. Please help me to share it. Bye.